Hello, my dear friends. I have a kasha to ask, a difficult question. This week was the worst single attack against Tzahal by Hamas, Yamach Shemam Zichram. In one moment, they murdered 21 members of Tzahal. They launched a, a, a grenade against a building and it exploded in the works. Explosives in the building that detonated. 21 members of Tzahal perished in one single second. And the enormity of that tragedy is not only the loss of the lives of those 21 soldiers who could have had children and who could have lived productive lives and they could have accomplished tremendous things, but it's the tragedy also for the families and for the friends, the, the, the parents and the grandparents and the siblings and those that had children. It's a tragedy that will accompany them throughout their entire lives. I often related that my father, Zichron Lebracha, had a very dear and close friend, Rav Heshi Ganauer. He was learning in Lakewood and then he made Aliyah. He went to learn in Eretz Shell. This was, I think it was in the late 40s or the early 50s. And he was sitting and learning in his in his apartment and he was, his daughter was, he had a baby, an infant daughter who was sleeping and a terrorist came and shot him and murdered him. And my father would talk about his dear friend, Rav Heshi Ganauer, Throughout his lifetime, if I believe to be 91 years old, so that means that for 70 years, my father, whenever it would occur to him to remember that Heshi Ganauer had lost his life in, under such terrible circumstances. And the, 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 for the families, the enormity of, of the tragedy is incalculable. So my question is, this week's Parsha Shira, it's the parsha that we read the Oz, Oz Yashir, the song of, of praise and celebration that the Jewish people sang when they left Mitzrayim. And we we even call the Shabbos, Shabbos Shira, it's the Shabbos of, of song. This is, in, this is so incongruous. Why did the Rebbe Hashem allow such a tragedy to happen in the Shabbos of, of Shira? So I have an answer to the question. Rashi says, then why does it say Oz Yashir in future tense? Then will motion the Jewish people sing the song of praise. It should be past tense, Oz Sharu, because it, 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 heard, it occurred in the past. So Rashi says that there's a remez, there's an, a hint here to Tchiyas HaMesim in the Torah, that the Torah is alluding to the resurrection of the dead that will eventually take place when Mashiach will arrive. So the big question is, there's no better place to tell me about Chiyas Amesim. This has nothing to do with Chiyas Mitzrayim. They go in Mitzrayim. There was a miracle. They crossed the, through the sea. Why does the Torah have to put in a, a remez, a clue, a hint, an indication uh, that, 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 that tell us that there's Chiyas Amesim? This is the only place that you can let us know that. I think the answer is because when the Jews left Mitzrayim, there were people left behind. That all the children, because they had to, they power decree that all the all the, the the sons, they had to be thrown into the Nile. There were who knows how many tens of thousands of babies were thrown into the Nile and drowned in that river. And then Rashi says in Parshas Kisisa that when there was a when the when the Jews were not able to meet the quota for the bricks that they were required to, to 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 build from the mortar and straw so the power decreed they should take living children infants and put them into the into the into the mortar and 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 use them as part of the brick that was going to be used to erect the building again who knows how many thousands maybe millions of children perished in that way so when they left Mitzrayim even though they were able to leave they were free now they were free to go but they left without the children. How could you say Shira at such a time? So that's why Rashi says, they, it's, it's true. The real Shira, the ultimate Shira, will not be until there'll be the resurrection of the dead. When the Mashiach comes, and there'll be Tchia Samesim, and all those that were left behind at the time of Yitzhiyah Mishayim, so then it'll be possible to say Shira. Then Moshe Rabbeinu will lead the Jewish people once again to recite Shira for all those, not only for those that left Mitzrayim, but those that were at, that were left behind in the Yor and in the Tit. Then, so that's why the Shira, Az Yashir, is in future tense. 
So I'd say the same thing is true today, that we're going to read Shira on Shabbos. It's going to be Shabbos Shira, and we're going to remember the great miracle and the, the great celebration that the Jewish people had when they were when they had, experienced salvation and they were able to leave Mitzrayim. But it's we, but we'll be reminded by that Yud, by the Oz Yasher in in the future. Whatever Shira we're able to say at a time like this is going to be totally incomplete because of all the tragedies that have transpired, especially the tragedy of this past week. It, the Shira is, is not yet complete. I have a second thought, and that is that it's not only that they, that the Shira is incomplete because there were the, the, the babies that they left behind, but, but the Shira was incomplete because there were loose ends. Why did all those terrible things have to happen? Why did the babies have to perish? Why did the Jews have to be slaves in Mitzrayim for 210 years? The enormity of the suffering. What was the purpose of that? Why did that happen? So how could you say Shira when you don't understand, when everything is not clear? How is it possible to say Shira? So the Gemara says in Brachos that in Olam Hazah we say, uh, uh, when something bad happens, we say, Dying Emes. When a person dies, for example, we say God is the is the true is the true judge. We don't understand why, so we don't we don't say that we don't make a bracha that it's good, but we say we trust God; He's the true judge. But in Olam Haba, even Al Hara, the bracha will uh, will be said of that God is good to us and to everyone, because then we'll understand. In this world, we can't understand why. Why, why tragedies happen? It's a mystery to us. It's impossible to, to, to comprehend and to fathom. So therefore, the best that we could do is say, we accept the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He knows what he's doing. We have no idea. It, it, it's incomprehensible to us. But we accept Diana Emes. And that's what we recited this week. We had to recite. When the, when, when the 21 soldiers were murdered, and there were three other soldiers who were murdered the same day, and all the all, all the soldiers that have died, and all the everyone that has perished in the, since October seventh, and the, and the hostages that are still horrific, they're still in captivity. What could we say? We could only say Diana Emes. We're not able to say Hatova Meitiv. We could say Diana Emes. God is the true judge. But there will become a time in, in when the Mashiach arrives, and everything will be revealed. All of God's plan will be revealed. Then we'll be able to say Hatova made it. So Shira can't, is all is always incomplete. There's no time when a person, no matter how good it seems and everything is terrific, but there's always loose ends. There's always things that we don't understand. There's always things that are missing. My daughter Shira Devara loves to make to do thousand piece puzzles, and I watch her. She does the puzzles, and while she's putting the pieces together. The puzzle is no great shakes. When it, there is the picture, it's okay. It's because it's missing, and even when she's almost at the end, and there's a hole here and a hole there, but when she finally puts in the last piece, and it, all of a sudden everything is perfect, there's no more gaping holes. Then the puzzle is is magnificent, and that's what life is is like. There's always gaping holes. There's always things that are missing. There's always things that we don't understand. There's always pain in the world. And therefore, the real Shira is only going to be when Mashiach will arrive. So that's why it's Az Yasher in future tense, because the Shira cannot be when we, when we're, we're still in Golos and we're still in darkness and we still don't understand. It's when Mashiach will arrive and everything will be revealed to us, then we will be able to say Shira. I was thinking, Az Yasher, Az, the word Az means is then. Az is with an Aleph and a Zion. The world is is was created in seven days. That means it's a cycle of 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 life. The seven days, and and Chazal say that the world will stand for for seven millennium for seven thousand years. So the Oz means that if you you can't say Shira until you've experienced the Aleph to the Zion. When you go from Aleph from the beginning to Zion, which is the end. It represents the 7,000 years. When, when everything is over, the whole story is finished, when you've finished the book, 
when you've watched the whole movie, now you understand the whole picture. Oz, Yasha, then you'll be able to say Shira. And the word, the word Oz, it, 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 it clings in my mind, it rings in my mind. That in, in Shir Hamalos, we say, Vishuv Hashem Meshiva Sion Hayinu Tuchomen. When God will return us from captivity, the, the captivity of, 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 of Eretz Yisrael, Hayinu Tuchomen. We are like dreamers. I was thinking that this is when the Mashiach will come. When we return to Eretz Yisrael, we'll be like dreamers. I was thinking, what does it mean we'll be like dreamers? We say this all the time before benching. What does it mean we'll be like dreamers? It means that sometimes when things are so good, People say, I, I must be dreaming. Now let me pinch myself to see if this is not a dream. So the, when, when the, finally the Mashiach and the redemption will take place and there'll be Shiva Si and there'll be the, the, the Eretz Yisrael will be redeemed and the people will be redeemed and everybody will return to Eretz Yisrael. So it will be Kichom, it will be as if we're dreaming. So, but when was, then the Pasuk says, Oz Yimalai Shok Pino Shanein Then, our our mouths will be full of laughter, and 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 our tongues will will be celebrating with joy, because then us when we go from the Aleph to the Zion, that from the beginning to the end, and we see the whole picture, and we understand God will reveal Himself and explain why everything transpired. Us Yimali Shlopino, us Yomer. Then the next passage again he uses the word us Yomer Vagayim. Then the, even the nations of the world will say Higdal Hashem Lasos Imano. God did tremendous things with the with the with the Jewish people, so that's the state that we find ourselves in. We're going to be reciting Shira, and we all have caches, and we don't. All, every one of us doesn't understand, and the, why, why, why? There's so much enormity of tragedy, and then the anti-Semitism. They're all tremendous caches. They're valid caches. They're good caches, but we have to live with Amuna, and the Amuna is. That us, Yosher, there will yet be a time when we'll be able to say Shira. Maybe we can't say Shira now. And everything is, is, is unfathomable. And, and it's beyond our wildest dreams of comprehension. But we, but the Jew lives with Amuna and, and Bitochen. And we trust HaKadosh Baruch Hu, as difficult as it is. That's our only hope. We trust that it's not only our only hope, but that's our, that's our, our reality as well. And we know that even though things seem so difficult and so bleak, there will yet come a time, Oz Yosher Moshe Avnei 